At an office somewhere in England, it's nearly Christmas time, and amateur sound engineer Jeremy has arranged a Christmas music performance for the office by a colleague, Dominic, who's a well-known chorister. Unfortunately, it's the day of recording and Dominic isn't well, so Jeremy asks another colleague, Gavin, to substitute at very short notice. Jeremy is in an empty interview room with his recording equipment, and Gavin is next door in another room with a microphone. Well, uh, as I say, Jeremy, I'm happy to uh, step in to help. Uh, these things happen. I would normally prefer to rehearse for a bit before singing, but uh, we don't have that luxury today. I can only do my best. Dominic's a soprano, isn't he? Uh, whereas I'm a bass baritone, so some of this might be a bit high for me. It's not going to uh, be exactly the same, but... Uh, What's wrong with Dominic anyway? Really? Well, yes, I can see that he couldn't very well come into the office with that. Poor soul. Give him my best when you speak to him, won't you? Jeremy, uh, these lyric sheets uh, you've given me, are they in the right order? Uh, I mean, I, I don't want to be singing Good King Wenceslas uh, when the music comes up for Silent Night or something. Oh, the backing tracks aren't working either. Well, this is going very well today, isn't it? Luckily, I, I don't mind singing a cappella. Uh, I wonder what the third thing will be. Oh, you often find that things go in threes, Jeremy. The law of random clumping, they call it. Uh, anyway, let's make a start. As I understand it, this is being recorded now to play back later this afternoon to everyone in the office once you've edited it and uh, so on. Is that right? Fair enough. Uh, now then, uh, before I start, let me just uh, put on... Uh, Oh, where are my glasses? I had them first thing. Uh, now, uh, I had to balance them on the toilet and then... It, uh, oh. oh, no, Jeremy, it's fine. I, I, I know where the glasses probably are. Still balanced on the toilet system at home. Uh, right, well, clearly that's the third thing that was going to go wrong, so it'll be plain sailing from here onwards. Well, I'll just have to manage for seeing, won't I? It's too late to sort it out now. Uh, do we need to do any sort of sound check? You did one earlier. How would that work? You did it using your voice. Well, I'm sure you know your business better than me, Jeremy, but uh, I can't quite see how your voice... Uh... On that subject, Jeremy, uh, won't people be able to hear you speaking to me? Oh, I see, of course, yes. I can hear you and me over these headphones, but they'll only hear me singing into the mic. Yeah, that's fine. Now, uh, do you want me to sing the songs in any particular order? No, I, I don't think that's a stupid question, Jeremy. There's no need to be rude. I'm trying to help you out here, aren't I? I don't know what arrangements you've made with Dominic. If we're starting with song one and going through chronologically, that's fine. Uh, I can do that. I'm just trying to understand. Uh, no need to get annoyed with me. Yes, well, just have some patience. Now then, uh, where are the numbers on these sheets? Oh, is it? At the top, next to the title. I've got you, I've got you. Do you know, I really can't read these lyrics very well at all, you know, Jeremy. Uh, and did you have to write them out longhand? Oh, I, I see. Your PC at home wasn't working and you couldn't email the lyrics in or print them. All right, well, we just have to manage uh, with what we've got, won't we? If I can't read the exact words, uh, I'll just have to, uh, well, do the best that I can. Oh, I must say, Jeremy, now it comes down to it and we're about to start recording. I'm getting rather nervous. <laughs> when I get nervous, I have a tendency to forget things. Uh, I was OK before, but... Uh, would I what? Like a drink? What alcohol, you mean? Well, I shouldn't. Uh, teetotal, normally me. Uh, I suppose, as, it, as it's nearly Christmas, uh, and it would give me a bit of Dutch courage, wouldn't it? wonder why they call it Dutch courage. Are the Dutch known for being cowardly when sober? A bottle and glassware? Oh, over here behind me. I didn't, didn't see that table there. Ginger wine. Oh, that's a nice idea. Very suitable for festive singing. 
I'll drink that now. Wet me whistle. No, I, I don't need to sip it, Jeremy. It's, it's only ginger wine. I'm sure it's not going to affect me that much. <laughs> oh, oh, that's very nice, isn't it? Warming as it goes down. Uh, it was meant for afterwards. Well, whatever. It's a very nice thought, and uh, I'm sure Dominic would have appreciated as much as I do if he'd... Uh... Oh, you don't want to talk about that. Fair enough. Okay, uh, you've promised people a festive musical performance, and by golly, we'll give the folk a festival music performance, whatever it takes. Have no fear. No, uh, yes, no, I, no, I understand that you need time to do the editing. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll need to leave more or less immediately after we've done it. Uh, in any case, uh, Marjorie's driving me into town for an appointment. Okay, right, uh, here I go then, here I go. Oh, uh, I've brought my harmonica with me to get the note. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas Just like the ones I used to know With a dream top thistle The children a whistle to hear Slow bells through the show I'm dreaming of a white Christmas With every Christmas tart I eat And the days are merry, not be And the Christmases are all right I'm dreaming of a white Christmas with every pastry I get fat May your trays be messy and broad They say all our Christmases are tight Yes, well, I, I, I got most of that right, I think. Let's have another drink. Oh, that rhymes. Uh, no, uh, I, I do realise there's no time for uh, chit-chat, Jeremy. Uh, on to the next one. Uh, what's this? The, the 12 drab... No, no. Uh, the 12 days of Christmas, that must say. Oh, this one should be a bit easier. Uh, I must have sung this, uh, oh, dozens of times before in the choir at school. I'll probably remember more of the words on this one. Which might be just as well with your spelling, Jeremy. Anyway... On the first day of Christmas, my true love sent to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love sent for me two purple coves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave away three drenched men, two purple wolves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love sent on me Four falling birds, three French men, two purple rooks, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the filth day of Christmas, my true love made for me five golden things. Foul smelling birds, three stretched men, two purple loaves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the sixth Day of Christmas, my true love sold to me six mice of frying, five golden crowns, four falling locks, three pongy men, two purple wives, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the seventh day of Christmas, my true love dealt to me seven swimming somethings, six dice are rolling, five golden strings. Four falling bees, three tents, men, two purple cows, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the eighth day of Christmas, my true love bought a tree. Eight lords are milking, seven something swimming, six rice are crispies, five golden lambs. Four falling girls, three stone hench, two purple gloves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the ninth day of Christmas, my true love lathered me. Nine laddies prancing, eight lords are milking, seven swimming women, six horses draying, five golden limbs. 
four falling pearls, three trench coats, two purple sips, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the tenth day of Christmas, my true love dented me. Ten ladies sleeping, nine ledettes wincing, eight lords are talking, seven swanning swumblers, six fighting choirs, five golden swings. Four foul old birds, three trench foot, two purple trowels, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the eleventh day of Christmas, my true love meant for me. Eleven pickers picking, ten ladies creeping, nine lardies prancing, eight lords are skulking, seven swumblies swamming, six dice are rolling, five golden gleams, four falling lords, three drenched hens, two purple hives, and a partridge in a pear tree. So far so good. Last one. Uh, upper key here, maybe? On the twentieth day of Christmas, my true love went for me. Twelve rummies singing, eleven pickled peppers, ten ladies weeping, nine lagers whinging, eight lords are swearing, seven swimmy swummies, six nice old dancers, five golden springs, four falling guards, three French beds, two purple hooves, and a cartridge in a deer tree. Oh, I we're doing so well there as well. Just got some of that a bit muddled there, right at the end. Dear, oh dear. You've hopefully got time to sort that out in the edit. Straight on, straight on. Page three. Uh, number three, I mean. Silent... Oh, I've forgotten to toot me thing. Doesn't matter. Silent night, holy night. All is calamity and fright. Round yon virgin rail franchise, Ope the elephant frightens the mouse, Sleep in Beverly Hills, Deep in flowery pills. Silent night, holy night, Earthquakes make quite a sight, Gloria dreams of leaving the path, heaving hot singing all the way there. Christmas center is here, Chris and Amanda are here. Silent night, holy night, sunny and chair singing tonight. Groundhog Day is on the TV Again and again it seems to me But then it's a really good movie Yes, it's an inspiring film Hmm, I wasn't terribly confident on that one, Jeremy I had to improvise quite a bit there, you may have noticed Hopefully uh, I got away with it uh, I expect people listening will be focusing more on the tune and uh, not the words anyway. Right, what's this next one? Uh, I saw three... Oh, ships. I can't read your writing again. I saw three husbands rolling in On Christmas Day since Swithin's Day I saw the blokes come falling in Down the drain in the morning why were those chaps all rolling drunk on Christmas Day, St. Puttall's Day, avoiding their wives till after three on Christmas Day in the evening? Forgot to buy her a Christmas gift before Christmas Day, St. Michael's Day, seeking out a convenience store in Candlemas Way on an awning. Ha <laughs> oh, I love the meaning in Christmas lyrics. Marvellous, Jeremy, real sentiment. Next one. Rudolph the red-horsed reindeer was a very shiny rose And if you ever saw it, you would say he liked to pose All of the other reindeer were rude and they called him names They never let poor Randolph join in with their headgear names Then one fussy Christmas tree so far heard them say Rupert, with your feet so big, won't you dance a little jig? Then all the road dear loved him Jealous of old Santa's fleas, they said, Robert the Red Nose Raincoat, we hate you, your history. Well, it's something like that, isn't it? Uh, what's next? Oh, it's the Wednesday's this one. 
I can barely read this one, Jeremy. Do me best. Glad can Westy last looked out on a feast in Stepney, through dirty plains he looked about. No snow fell that evening, brightly shone the road that night, covered in spilled fuel. When a poor man slipped and fell right into a puddle, through the window Ken shouts out, "Who's that man? He's smelly. He's a vagrant on the street." Looks just like George Melly. He is from another town, somewhere in North Sussex. Lives under the viaduct in a large old cardboard box. Bring a hose and squirt the swine. Send him off and hither. Don't want people of that ilk round about and thither. The two men outside they went. Off they went together. Shouted rude things at the man through the bitter weather. Go back where you come from now. You smell even stronger than the waft through the window. The odor lingers longer. So they sprayed him with the hose. He turned and left them swiftly. Back inside the house they went, quaffing beer quite quickly. Bring me food and bring me wine. Old Ben shouted bravely. Get it yourself, you lazy bones. I am not your slavey. Fair enough, we'll have a feast. Close the door behind you. We are warm inside this house, and neither of us smells of poo. Oh, had to improvise quite a bit there, but uh, I think I got the theme of the thing across okay. Uh, how are we doing for time? Let's just check my watch. Oh, need to speed up a bit. Okay. Krusty the snowball was a clappy, happy seal with a cornball wipe and a Burton's nose and his thighs made out of holes. Krusty the shoe man is a wailing male, they say. He ate all the snow, but the children show how he came to Leeds one day. There must be something tragic in the silk purse on the ground. When they placed it in the bed, it began to spin around. Oh, for see, the mailman had hives and he could be. As a Mildred sprayed in a draught on a tray, it was just like you and me. Billy, billy, biddly, bump, biddly, 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 bunk, book up, rusty now. Diddly, 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 donk, witty, 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 twonk, old gold mills that grow. Pasty, the mailbag, grew the fun was not to be. So he raved, let's fun and we'll run and fun, you refer a wilty day. Down with the pillage and the boom box in his hat. Ruining hill and hedge, run aground a spare slaying swatch me with your grand. Hold the idler down in the streets of grown onto a tropic shop. And he only pressed a murmur when he held the lollipop. For nasty the slow gin had to bear a Santa sleigh. But he wafted his eyes spelling down amidst by I'll be back with grain and hay. Fiddly 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 fum, niddly noodly daddly no, book of trusty now. Hoppity hippity happity hunk, twiddly diddly diddly swamp, ogle the pills that flow. Open the wheels that flow, over the spills are go. I do like that one, it's a classic, isn't it? What's next? The Critical uh, Christmas Song. Do I know that one? Oh, that one. Yes, yes. Okay, righty ho. Chess men toasting in an open shire. Jack Fox nipping at the beer. You and Carol tied up by a choir. And flocks trussed up like extra cows. Everybody knows a jerk who likes a whiskey tot. Melvin sets the trees alight. Jelly tots with mince pies hanging low will find a dartboard leaps to right. They grow some more on Santa's sleigh. He's loaded and has dates and booties in his knee. And all the mother's pride looks fit to cry. Rainwater is going right up into his fly. And now I'm proffering this pimply haze. The bits from up to twenty-two. The show has been said. Far too many crimes 
the many ways that Christmas is you. Beautiful, beautiful tune. Why don't I what? Use the sleigh bells? What sleigh bells? Oh, over in this box. Well, why didn't you say so before? I'm not a mind reader. You're nervous too. Well, yes, I suppose the success of this event does rather fall on both our heads. Uh, shoulders. Head and shoulders. Uh, Jeremy, uh, never mind. Uh, it'll be fine. Have some more of your Dutch courage. Oh, you already are. Uh, right, I'll join you. I'll try to incarcerate these bells in a bit uh, here now, then. Bing, bang, cannonballs will fly. Kevin's bells are flinging, tanking up into your spy. River's bad smells are tingling. Ah, hose pipes and Chelsea Guinness. We go up and down below. The bales are on the swing now. And oi, 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 oi. The trees and bees have sunken. Oh, horse feed will taste delicious. Oh, his feet will smell like fish. Well, that seemed to go quite well. Uh, the stray bells really lift him, don't they? Straight on. Uh, oh, it's the last sheet. The final count, uh, the final song. Well, I, I'd like to say it's been fun, uh, Jeremy, but uh, I'll say my goodbyes now uh, before I finish. Uh, I've got to go straight after this song. A uh, nice rousing one to end, uh, one that folk can uh, uh, join in with, if they like. We all know the words to this one. It's that one that begins, da 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 Okay. We wish you Nikita Khrushchev, we dish you a Julie Christie, we wash you a Minky Bisworth and a Snappy Pew Cheer, great timings we need to win all the food, dread hidings for Bristol and a Snappy Chew Deer, oh swing us a Tiggy Leg Bork, oh ring us a Foggy Morning, oh fling us a Soggy Buckling and a Tub of Stewed Deer, we won't go until we get plum, we don't know until we get gum, we can't go until we wet one, so drink some out here, we wish you a Molly Ringwald, we dish you a Fairy Journey, we rush you a Terry's Orange, and a flappy new peer. We swish you a turkey pudding, we dash you a figgy starter, we wash it all down with lager and some chips that are near. Mad shoutings we hear to sing something rude, not hoping for a ballad, let's make that quite clear. Oh, sing us a pretty loud song, or cling on although it sounds wrong, or fling us a set of lyrics and something to cheer. We'll call on you if we want some, we'll tell on you if you make fun, we can't leave without a bath bun, so throw one out here. We'll dress you in snazzy trousers, we'll gift you a pair of schnauzers, we'll raffle you a great prize. And throw in some beer, we'll waffle you a great size, and throw in the towel. Oh, phew, crikey. <laughs> right, that's me done. Off to meet perjury. Uh, hope it goes well uh, for you this afternoon, Jeremy. Jeremy? Jeremy? Where have you gone, Jeremy? Dum 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 d